I'm going to start today on a couple of ideas that are used in some of the successful lodges. Now, we may be a little elementary for some of you folks, but send me your ideas. Tell me what works for you and works in your lodge so that we can share it. One of the key reasons for doing these videos is to help all of the lodges, especially those that are struggling with proven ideas at work. Now, I wish that I could visit every lodge so that I could tell you Oberthorpe's story or Davis's story or Century's story, but I can't use that. And so I use this video as a tool to reach just as many of the lodges and just as many of the members as we can. So how to start, what to do, you know, how do we get them members? How do we keep them? Well, it sounds like we're covering too much ground and we probably are, but what I want to do is to present to you a lot of information and leave it out there so that everyone, each lodge, each member can get to it and then you can use it. I want you to use the tools that we talk about. Use the sites for the information and send me your sites. You know, we've talked about starting, looking at our buildings, looking at our attitudes. We even mentioned generations, bridging the gaps of generations even having a multicolored lodge. And I always try to stress this, what works for me may not work for all. And so what we have to do is take an idea, take a plan, and we modify it and we change it. We improve it, any idea, until it works for you, such as the three-legged stool that we got from the DMC. It may not totally work for everyone, but modify it. We can have two kinds of meetings. We can have informative and fun. No one in this fast-paced society that we have has time for a dull, set-around meeting. However, some, every one of us would like an extra smile for the day. So build your meeting around these thoughts. Take care of the business in a business-like manner and do the fun stuff in an enjoyable manner. Am I asking too much for you to do that, to adjust some thinking, to adjust your attitude? Hear me out on this, please. If your lodge is not bringing in new members to our order into your lodge, then my friend, something is not working and it needs to be fixed. If your lodge is not doing programs, projects in your community, something ain't working, something needs to be fixed. That's what we are trying to do. There's a lot of conversation now about the changes that we need to make in order to survive and especially to grow. Some say that the ritual needs to be changed, that it needs to be updated. Sovereign needs to get more involved in the membership of the lodges. Grand Lodge needs to be reformed. Struggling Lodges need help from the Sovereign Grand Lodge, from the Grand Lodge, and even from the Bigger Lodge. The code needs to be improved, and so on and so on and so on. One of the basic statements that you have heard out of me ever since that I have been in this order is this. The success of our order will be found in the local lodges. As our lodges go and grow, so will we. As our lodges fall by the wayside, so will we. My good brothers and sisters, it may appear that I have rambled around today, but the major idea today is this. Prepare your lodge for our future. I absolutely believe that we, the local lodges, hold a future of Odd Fellowship in our hands. I am firmly committed to do whatever I can as Sovereign Grand Master or as a dedicated brother in an Oddfellow Lodge to bring the lodges whatever material, whatever instructions, whatever encouragement can be given to them to help them grow, to help them move forward and be the lodge that they want to be. I urge you today to visit the last video so that you will look at your lodge through new eyes. Visit both the outside and the inside of your lodge. I urge you to look at the membership that you have. Decide on the membership that you want to have and the kind of lodge that you want to be. Start the process. Start the new idea. Start the new lodge or reestablish the working of the old one. I do not care which. I only want progress for you. We not only can, but we will change the world of Odd Fellowship one person at a time. Are you that person? Are you going to stand up, make your presence felt in your lodge, at your Grand Lodge, at Sovereign Grand Lodge? And if not you, who? My brothers and sisters, this is a new role for me, 
And I'll admit that at times I'm absolutely over my head. I need your help. I need your assistance. Our lodges need your help, and they need your assistance. If we wish to make a difference, we have got to start now. Each one of us putting our hand to the plow, moving forward with an excitement. My brothers and sisters, I urge you to look at what you've saw, look at the links, find this information, bring this information into your lodge because it is you that is going to make the difference.